2016 is likely to see a major announcement in pursuit of cleaner air. And CNBC TV 18 learns that one of these announcements could be the country's first ever scrappage policy to incentivize the Indian car owners to give up old cars for newer and cleaner models. CNBC TV 18 Shweta Kothari has the details. IRB Budget 2016, now or never, on the CNBC Network. Road and Transport Minister Nitin Gatkari is all about making rhetoric reality, especially when it comes to promises like this one on a national scrappage policy. Within a month, I will go to the cabinet. Within a month? Yes. We are already on the process, we are working on it, mm. and after the approval of the cabinet, we will declare the policies. Less than a month after the interaction, a 265-page document to facilitate the scrapping of old vehicles has secured cabinet approval and is expected to be announced in the upcoming budget. This will be the country's first ever scrappage policy, and going by Gadkari's earlier promise, will offer incentives for people who want to give up vehicles that are over 10 years old. Anyone who surrender his old car to the factory where he will get a certificate and if he can get that certificate to the, when he purchase the new vehicle from new company, he will get some 25 to 30,000 rupees discount. We are going to recommend it to the finance ministry. The final details of the policy are still under consideration. But initial estimates show that if implemented, the 30,000 rupee discount the minister is talking about will cost the exchequer 20,000 crore rupees. In addition, we learn that the policy proposes that the government give up a portion of the excise duty by offering a rebate of up to 50% to anyone who scraps an old vehicle and buy a new one. This could further skew the government's math. Some of the other aspects of this policy include an easier deregistration process to expedite turning in old cars and a roadmap for the recycling of core material used in vehicle manufacturing. Of course, this policy will be a welcome one for the auto industry, which has been struggling with weak demand. But it's not just the automobile industry that will get a new lease of life from this end-of-life policy. We are in Mayapuri, which is the center of all scrapping activities in New Delhi. While the sector largely remains unorganized without any standard operating procedure, a scrappage policy from the government may finally shed some clarity on the lives of the workers here. Metal Scrap and Trading Corporation, for instance, is all ready to set up India's first ever scrapping and shedding center. A center that's currently one year, 120 crore rupees, and a few incentives away from completion. We are ready with the feasibility report, we are ready with the DPR, and we also have the bill of quantities ready. Uh, we are only waiting for certain incentives to come okay. so that the feed stock for the shedding plant, which is the end of life vehicles and the condemned uh, white goods and other things, are available in adequate quantities mm -hmm. so that my shedding plant. Uh, run uh, without any uh, problem. This centre will provide the certificate vehicle owners need to avail a discount on a new car. However, while the scrappage policy is aimed at bringing down vehicular pollution while giving automobile and automobile related sectors a boost, the fact that vehicle exchange is largely voluntary could dilute its effectiveness. In New Delhi, Shweta Kutari.